Make a joyful noise, all you people. Sing a song to the Lord. Where you are King. So let's start right now. Why would we wait? King of glory, fill this place. We just want to be. not shouting when you're not bouncing off the walls he's no less God then than he is when you're doing all of those things I'm not trying to make excuses for not shouting that's not what I'm saying if you got the Holy Ghost you ought to get some shout in you every once in a while <laughs> amen but you ought to know that he's God no matter what he's God no matter what amen thank God Hallelujah. let's clap our hands to the Lord but nonetheless, we're excited about him here. And bro, good to have a, a friend of mine, a friend of longtime friend of Brother Lance Stockman's, Brother Jason Price. He's got he's from Good Stock. He's from Good Stock. Amen. And uh, Brother Jason is a miracle. They told his parents when he was born he won't live to see his 13th birthday, and he is 38 years old. <laughs> Amen. Come on up and testify, Brother Jason. How y'all doing tonight? Yeah. I always knew the Lord didn't call me to be a preacher because he didn't make me tall enough to stand behind a pulpit. So I, I, I knew I wasn't called to do that. Um, so I'm not good at uh, being Johnny on the spot and testifying, so forgive me if it's an eloquent or anything like this, but uh, just kind of encourage y'all a little bit. Like Brother Grady said, uh, I was born with a certain uh, illness. Doctors uh, said I probably wouldn't live past 12 years old uh, if I did. Be a lot of hurdles in my life. Obstacles probably wouldn't live to be a very productive life. Uh, and as he also said, I'm 38 today, about to be uh, 39 next month. So yeah. God's on your side. You know, I just want to encourage y'all that, you know, in doing life, we all have our obstacles. Obviously, mine were, you know, facing the possibility of a not having a good life and all that stuff. We all have our obstacles in life. Everybody has their own, their battles, the things they deal with. But, you know, God, when God's on your side, when God's fighting for you, there's a, you can, you can choose to, you can choose to, uh, you can choose to focus on those things if you want to, all the things that the world says. You can focus on what God has ordained in your life and promised you. And I just want to share with you a little bit what he, uh, I had a certain uh, illness that I was, uh, another illness that I was dealing with here uh, a couple of months ago and, you know, begin to pray and seek God and ask Him to touch my body. Uh, and uh, the Lord always speaks to me. I don't know how He speaks to a lot of people. I'm sure He speaks to us individual ways, or, you know, as we are as people, all individual. He speaks to us in His own way, to us personally. And uh, He spoke to me in prayer meeting one night at our church and He just, uh, He said, I... Uh, uh, mindful, the two words he spoke to me were mindful and the, uh, pleasure. He said, I want you to know that I'm mindful of you and I take pleasure in you. Amen. And I just want to encourage y'all that if, you, if, you, if you're going through something and it's, it's dark and it's cloudy and you, you feel like you're being looked over because you're not in the spotlight, I just want to tell you that God's mindful of you. He's mindful of your situation. He's mindful of you, you. He's mindful of where you're at. He knows exactly where you're going, where you've been, where you're at. He's mindful of all those things. And you can, like I said, you can focus on all the things that the world says. You can focus on how big God is. That He knows the number of hairs on your head. 
He said he opens his hands and satisfies every living creature. He's a big God and he knows exactly where all of us are and he knows just how to take care of us. So I just want to encourage you tonight, just trust in the Lord. You can lean on him in the hard times. And so I just want to bless y'all. Bless y'all. Thank y'all for letting me speak. You ain't seen nobody get drunk, cut loose, and talk in tongues and shout till you seen Jason Price do it. I'll tell you right now. <laughs> Man, we've had some times in the altar. Thank God for it. Hallelujah. Brother Lance, come on. Tell us something good. Beat us, whip us, whatever you got to do. Thank you, Pastor. Well, why don't you stand to your feet and clap your hands to the Lord. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. You ought to nudge your neighbor and look at them and say, neighbor, say, the doctors don't have the final say-so. Say, God has the final say-so. Now go ahead and prophesy to them. Say, neighbor, say, God's not through with you just yet. Say, he's got some more that he's wanting to do in you and through you and around you. Yes. 